let's go back to our cooking again. I'm going to make you uh, show you how to make shira. The way we make shira is I'm taking one cup of ghee. Ghee is nothing but clary, it's called clarified butter. So as soon as the ghee is little hard, well, I'm going to add the cream of wheat in it and let it cook. And when it's when that is done, I'll add the milk and sugar and until everything is all burned out we have to keep stirring at it and that you will be watching me how to do it i may not be paying more attention to you guys but i will be you'll be watching me that way you'll know and we'll add some raisins to it too now it looks like the ghee is hard so i'm going to add the cream of wheat to it and you have to keep add, uh, keep stirring the cream of wheat otherwise it is it will stick at the bottom and the, and the ghee is already mixed with the cream of wheat that's the way it should be and then you know that there is no it's equal amount of ghee when you start smelling the shira and when it little, becomes little bit little bit changing color like light brown or something then we add the milk in it and let it cook but we have to uh, keep stirring so it doesn't stick at the bottom okay now see how this is changing the color it's almost there it's almost ready to the milk to be poured in I'm pouring the milk now seems like a lot of milk but the ratio is one cup to four cups of milk it's a lot of milk but it will burn out so quickly and at the same time I add my raisins in too and we have to occasionally keep stirring it until it's done and also in this this dessert it's not must but it's an optional you can even put the almonds shredded almonds in it if you have it if you don't have it you don't worry and we also put uh, some ground cardamom in it which gives a good flavoring so but you know the way your Indian cooking is like you can also do without one one of the ingredients if one ingredient is not there you don't have you don't have to feel like you are stuck and you cannot do it you still can do it so that's the best part about it can you see what I'm doing here if not you can just come down here and watch it I guess it seems like you all can can see me huh It's a lot of milk it seems like but pretty soon it will start so becoming solid and then the dessert will be done. See, the cereal doesn't take long. You can, I mean if you don't brown your cream of wheat and still make, you want to make it sweet but you know when you eat that cereal it becomes sticky. It becomes very sticky, it, it would stick into your mouth and there's a, there's a method of doing this because the browning of the cream of wheat in clarified butter is very important otherwise it will not it will not come out the way it will look same as shira but it will not be the same shira that the way indian people cook so that's a part of it and now i'm going to add some cardamom to it like a pinch of cardamom powder so it gives a good flavoring and that's the way it is it's almost getting there now it's getting done and the way to figure it out that it's getting done is it's not sticking when it starts sticking you can lower the temperature and start cooking and sometimes you can see even the ghee or the clarified butter starting to separate from the shira then you can very well say that it's cooked can you, uh, you can come here and see if you want, see the ghee is separating out from the shira and I, I would still like to make sure and cook a little bit more to make sure that there is no water part in it or there is no milk left 
otherwise it will start sticking to your tongue or on the top of your, in, inside your mouth when you start eating and that's no fun. So I think this is almost done, another minute or so and it's being cooked and then we are ready to serve it. And I hope you all enjoy it. I think we are done. It's all done. I can see the ghee coming out of the shira. But I, I still see a little bit part of milk, milk particles in it. So I'm going to cook it for a minute or so longer. And like I said, if we don't have any, any of the ingredients like raisins or almonds or anything, you can still make shira without it. So you don't have to feel like you cannot do it and you are stuck and you have to run to the stores. That's not necessary. So you just have to make the best use of whatever you have and go from there. Okay, it was very nice doing my job here. Now I'm, show, I'm going to show you how to make lassi. I, India is a very hot country and people like to drink more lassi to cool down. The way I make lassi is uh, use some buttermilk and uh, add some chopped strawberries and put the add sugar, some sugar. Sugar I add, usually add according to my taste. Some people like it more sweet and some people like it less sweet. So sugar is not like a, a exact measurement, okay? So what I do is I add, I add buttermilk into blender, I add strawberry, I put strawberries in and I add the sugar, the amount that I want and then I just use the blender and it's all done. When it's mixed, it's all done. So okay, let's, here we go. I'm going to make uh, lassi enough for four people. So I have a measurement here which is like four cups. So I'm pouring the buttermilk like four cups. And I'm pouring all the strawberries in. And you'll be surprised how this thing comes out. Some people even uh, put... Uh, I just... The way I do it, I, I pour it like this and then I know how much it's needed. It's like approximately like three spoons I added, three to four spoons. But sugar you can also, sugar you can also add it later as you go along. Okay, this is all done. I'm going to pour it in the glass to, so, to show you how nice it looks. Okay, that's it. This is it for today's class. Are we all ready to see what I have cooked? Just in few minutes, we'll, I'll be back and show you how everything looks.